tell us something about your asset allocation, let's say between real estate, equity and debt. I don't have much. I'm not a believer in debt that much. Um, I have uh, public market investments, private market investments and real estate. So you have to understand one thing. My family, before I came to stock market, had 5% to 10% in the business, 90% real estate. I almost, I didn't, I didn't flip it the other way around to that, that extreme, but to a significant extreme, over 28 years, we had reversed it by 2018, where the equity was very high and real estate was very low. Over the last two, three years, I have again reversed it a little bit. So real estate is about 35, 40 percent. So you've allocated more to real estate. Yeah, in the last 40 period. because of today's valuation, but I would have allocated some 25 or something. Uh, so I think I remember another case wherein you bought your, uh, say, a holiday home with a particular stock investment. Yeah. I think you should take us through that uh, uh, trade as well as uh, uh, the decision to do that. Well, see, when I was uh, having a capital of uh, 10 lakhs, I went with two of my friends and uh, we sat uh, in a holiday timeshare resort by the lake. We, we, we went to ideate. You know, those days uh, we would go sit for three, four days and discuss ideas freely. So we get all the time, morning, evening, night, like we meet in various places. Same thing. Those days, 93. So that time, one day while we were walking, uh, I, my friend and I had this jocular conversation that in this crescent, it will be nice to own a house. And we kept on discussing that uh, joke uh, for nearly 20 years. Then sometime in 2015, I went to visit a family friend who was also my client one afternoon on a Sunday. He said, uh, while I was leaving, he asked me, very softly, he said, uh, you know, I have this thing. Uh, I have one project. I want one person to buy a property. I asked, where is this place? He said, uh, he gave me the location. It was in that crescent, exactly. So I said, uh, if you will not mistake me, uh, can I buy that property? I didn't ask the price. I didn't ask uh, when the money had to be given. I didn't ask whether you can get a loan on it. None of it. Because it was in the crescent. Uh, he said, if you are coming, that will be great. And I have a very high personal regard for that person. He's very close to our family. So the decision was made like this. It's not a calculated decision or anything like that. Then I had to arrange the money. It was very, very high at that point in time. So I saw my portfolio and said, this is the most expensive stock. And I sold it. And I paid for it. No loan, nothing. And I think you made a lot of money on that stock also. Yeah, it was, a, it was rich. When I sold it, it was rich. Today also, after eight years, it is still 25% above the price I sold. That's all. It was very rich, even at that time. So I think that destiny made me do that asset switch. It's not a... So similarly, in 2020, 2020 also, I got another property like that, similar. Uh, very good seller, casual conversation, and that's how it happened. It's not uh, something where you... When something comes, you act. You don't delay. Because this is where there is a lot of uh, problems with the way new fin, uh, fin tweet, finfluencers say... You should not buy properties. You should not do this. And you end up old age with a lot of money and nothing to do. Uh, and this is what we've seen uh, with a lot of investors. Okay? There are times where they've made investments which are purely because you've uh, gained so much in life. This little asset allocation change will not change your life. And anyways, most of you have continued to be on the same lifestyle. Yes, Marishri, I don't understand how somebody who has got so many strong opinions will first live life. I mean, <laughs> um, I have seen my father tell me that, you know, in life you must buy a Mercedes. Okay. So when he got the money, enough money to buy the Mercedes, I asked him, why don't you buy the Mercedes? He said, I don't need it. now." Right? Yeah, he said, now I don't need it. 
So I realized that when he needed it, he didn't have the money. And when he had the money, he didn't need it. Simple. It's what I learned from my father's life. Most of my learnings are from my grandfather, my father. It's only from them. Because they worked much harder than I did in much more difficult circumstances. And they had headwinds all their life. We are all people who are products of economic tailwinds, printing money and all sorts of economic tailwinds. Liberalization. Then you are a, you are a beneficiary of digitization. So many things happen. So I realized that uh, whatever comes your way, if it comes early, it gives you opportunity to live. And telling people not to live that life, which they have yearned, is not wisdom. First of all, you should not listen to such people. But you have millions of followers for such people and that is the order of the day and I accept it. I'm not in uh, any way rat race with any of them. I enjoy my life. They are in misery. So, fine. That's how it is. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.